Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at HBAR again. Um, it actually came down and landed so nicely within this green box area. So if anyone had an entry there, kudos to you for watching the video. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get into a few options that we can basically have from this point and where we think we can go. Before we jump into that though, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content and you haven't already and you enjoy this HBAR content, you may as well hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some uh, comments down below. Let us know if you happen to uh, take advantage of this, um, this area that we had scoped out. Okay, so let's get into the videos. I'm just going to move this out of here because um, even though we did come into the zone, this wave is no longer relevant. Actually, we don't need any of these sub waves, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So basically what we're looking at from, uh, if I come out here slightly, within this we were looking for this as a five wave move and we managed to scope out this lower range here and potentially what we're looking for here is an additional fourth and a fifth wave here to the downside. So we'll have to monitor this in case it um, starts to develop as a different kind of structure but it has hit all the target areas so we just need to see how this would react and if we're looking at this in this way we are looking for a zigzag so this starting as a five wave move is actually not not bad um it's not bad at all to be honest it kind of lines up up with that analysis so we'll have to see how it progresses but this would basically be the target area that we're sort of looking to um to target out so between this 0518 to this 0432 if we had to push above this zone um, basically invalidation of this this circled fourth wa fifth wave would come by moving back above the 0.556 area so we're going to monitor these moves and see how they progress but um, basically what I am thinking is that we're going to get we're going to get this as a one two three four and a five then we're going to get a three wave retracement and then we're going to get an additional five wave move to the upside potentially looking to target up this higher range um, and then look to break to the downside again so the poor fourth wave we really wouldn't want it to this also would tie in with us um retesting this previous fourth year so that could be um could be interesting to see how it reacts in that area so we're going to have a look at this move now so this bear this in mind we're looking for this fourth wave potential so there is potential it could also look to break to the upside though we don't have enough information and we are looking for a zigzag so until it proves otherwise i'm still going to be looking for this fourth wave so I'm going to just turn off some of this stuff so it's a bit tight, a bit more tidy. So within this, I'm going to remove these lines as well. We don't need these anymore. And this epic box down here. Okay. So basically what we're looking for is off of this low point here. It does look to be developing as a five wave move. So we can see a one, two, three, four, five into here. This would be uh, potentially a diagonal. So A, B and C to the downside. So basically one, two. And then now we look to look to have progressed to the upside here. So we can count this. This one here seems to have had a little bit of an extension in it. Um, or it is at least possible that it's had an extension within it. And what we'd be looking at there is if I just throw on this option here of the um, extension. What we could be looking at here is the fact that we could actually have this as a one, two, this is a one, two, all of this up into this point as a three. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, four, three. And then we could be looking for this fourth and this fifth wave to the upside. So this count would actually have an additional fourth and fifth compared to the other one. So we'll go over it in a second anyway. But within this zone, basically what I'd be looking for is a retracement into this area. If I come down here to the one hour time frame. So we would be looking for um for this move into this 382 zone. So we actually have we could technically have completed this already. Um and I'm just gonna throw a fib onto this. If we go from there up into this high. So we've already come down to this one to one. It is possible we push a little bit further down towards this zero four two eight as a as a one point two three six. I'm not seeing anything that's indicating this could break down at the moment, but it is always possible. So if we if we sort of lose, if we move down towards this um, zero four twenty zone, it is possible that we could have um, a five wave move. But the structure isn't great. We'd have to look at this as a one two. Uh, yeah, this is not good structure for it currently, but it could always break down. So if we start to actually move away from this and break down far below this fourth wave area, uh, then effectively it would be invalidated. So invalidation of this um, of this count 
of this fifth wave up into this four seven uh four seven nine area to this four six seven area that would come by moving down below this three nine three area this additional fourth should it play out once we've completed our third wave a move down past this zero three nine five would actually invalidate that as well so basically that's just um this is the internal move and then this is the bigger move if it does play out like this so like i said we could actually be completed here the um the one hour stochastic is showing room for the growth to the upside the four hours still got some room to the downside the eight hours still overboard so we need to be careful there and i think the dailies are still overboard what's the weekly on i haven't actually looked at it it's starting to move up quite quickly um the fast moving lines hit this 50 percent though sometimes in um in rallies when we do this it'll start to it'll start to um decline so we just need to be aware that there could be some downside coming in um basically within this move what we'd be looking for is the potential that uh we could we could look for this extension in an additional fourth and a fifth so we'd be looking for this fourth wave push up into this zone here for this four seven seven nine to this four four six seven area and then looking for that additional retracement and then a push up again for a final fifth wave However, if we, like I said, if we start to break down, um, then the next area that I'd be looking for as a potential support zone would be over here. And if I get on this low up into this high point, this four four one one towards this three eight five area that could be a support zone and if that did have to happen then we'd be open we'd have to be open to the idea that we could actually get something where this is a one two then um potentially within this move we have a one and then we're looking to come down retest these highs maybe and then look to push away again in a bigger five wave move like this um so it these this is all speculative at the moment we don't have a lot of information so we we need to see how this actually plays out but for the most part this is what i'm anticipating is that this this would be the neatest count we can argue as well that we have one two three four and five and is completed yes yeah. so that would, option would be looking at it um in this way so we would still be looking for that fourth it's just the range comes down slightly so if we do pull down further it could indicate that we actually are within this fourth wave in which case we could we could potentially look to target out this 0 0.422 as a 382 retracement and lowest range i'd really want to see is moving down to this 0 0411 area so invalidation of this once again would be that it's 395 so it is possible that we have this as a one two this could be a completed three already we're looking to fall back for this fourth wave once again if we start to retrace um deeper than this 50 percent and sort of headed towards that 618 area uh i would be more inclined to think that we have this as a one two one two and then we could actually look for a bigger move to the upside although all of that sort of bullish um talk would be invalidated by coming down and crossing this low point here at uh if it can if it will stay on there there we go zero three six seven crossing that zero three six seven area would actually invalidate any further but bullish potential for this move and we would have to look at this purely as a corrective structure it is still possible for us to progress up as a corrective as a correction where we get this as a a a b and a c so those support zones basically um if if this does start to break down and loses this impulsive structure from this high point this is provided we don't move back up here um like i said that 0405 all the way down to this 0376 range would be a typical area we could look to um find support if it's going to become if it's going to become some kind of another structure and not a five wave move though we are looking for that zigzag so ideally i'd want to see five wave structure here or at least um a diagonal or something to that description okay so basically that's what we're looking at and i do think that this is the the most likely this is my interpretation at the moment i do think that we are looking for this fourth wave move to the upside and i think that this target zone is going to be somewhere up here between this 0518 to this 0432 we have actually bounced into this so if we do actually reject from this point it is possible we could look for a completed fourth wave here though it doesn't have good structure so i really i would want to see it sort of play out a bit more before calling it completed but if we do actually move down past this 356 line from this location we can actually argue that the that it's met it's met the um 
the requirement and what we'd be looking for then. So we could look then to potentially move down towards this uh, 0335 to this 0304 area. So that's if we break down, if we actually start to break down your yeah, formed um, structure, that uh, impulsive structure to the downside, that would be my next target area that I would be looking for, the 0335 to this 0304 okay so i hope that everyone found the video useful if you did please smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and why not leave me some feedback down below hope everyone has a great day and we will see each other in the next video take care out there everybody